Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with the Elegoo Orange Storm Giga, and we are going to go over how to tighten up the belts. If you are experiencing bad Z-banding, or worse, layer shifting, it could be due to loose belts. When a gear and a belt move, you want the gear and the belt to move together. If the belt is too loose, the gear can slip inside the belt, causing the hot end not to move appropriately. This leads to layer shifting. We avoid this by tightening our belts. Let's do that now. Here you can see a gear moving that belt forward and backward. If the tension on this belt were too loose, the gear could slip, causing the hot end not to move appropriately and print in a different spot than the printer intends. This is how you end up with a layer shift. The idea is to tension the belt so that the tightness against that gear keeps the teeth of the gear and the belt firmly mated and moving together. The first one you're gonna find is right here in the front right corner of the printer, right above the screen connector. Pinch it with your finger and turn it clockwise to tighten it. Like most 3D printers, there is surely an ideal tension. However, the idea is just to make sure it's not too loose and not too tight has a bit of a trampoline feel to it. If it feels really loose, give it a little bit more of a tightening. If it feels really tight, you might want to loosen it. But if you're getting bad Z-banding, it's most likely too loose. We'll start by making a small but reasonable adjustment and moving along. You will see belt number two. Get your fingers on there and tighten that one up also. To get a better feel, make sure you're not testing it with the print head right in front of you. Slide the print head back a bit. And then get a good test, feeling it along the way. If it's super loose and springy, give it some more turns. Next up, there's another tensioner for the hot end. And you'll find it right here. You can feel the belt right inside here. And you can get an idea of the tension by just moving the hot end back and forth. Mine feels super loose and smooth. That's great. If yours feels super floppy, tighten this one up a bit. If it feels super snug, loosen it a bit. After adjusting, make sure it feels springy. Make sure the hot end still moves smoothly. And if need be, adjust it a touch more. Now we are going to look at one more thing. Next up is this timing or sync belt connecting the two Z rods. There is no tensioner on this belt, but you may notice yours is a little loose. Mine even managed to slip off. We can, however, tighten up this belt just a little by moving this plate right here. I notice on mine, they put the bracket flush to the frame. What a coincidence that flush just happens to be the right tension. Go ahead and loosen these two screws and push this tensioner out as much as you feel necessary. I'm gonna go about two millimeters. I'll lock one, straighten it out and lock the other. You'll feel a lot more tension now. Don't overdo it, just enough so you know there's good tension on both Z rods and good tension on this bearing so it won't slip off. Repeat this on the other side. 